Welcome, um, I'm John Knurnschild, also known as the Garden Samurai. Today I wanted to show you one way of making um, a fire and wanted to talk about this fire backing. So we got this fire backing and it's uh, made of uh, stainless steel. And um, on some of the reviews, one of the persons that was complaining, they, they got the, the silver stainless steel and of course it turned black. So we went ahead and got um, the black and it's supposed to help radiate the, um, the heat out and protect um, the back of the wall there. If you notice when we installed it, we have the curve going this way to kind of help uh, do the, the heat. So I mean, you could uh, put it the other way and I'm not sure what kind of result it would get, but we're gonna test this out. So we got the fire backing here. And then I, um, when I go to use my, fire this here is just um, shredded paper and something that's real important is you know that you have your airflow that's right down in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and use a bigger log back here against the, the fire backing and then these here are cedar chips and then I kind of go with a you know, a, a, a teepee type fire, building that, slip falling down, almost convert into a log cabin. Um, both log cabin fires, teepee fires, I like to start with the teepee and then um, switch it over to a log cabin. Then these are some twigs that I um, just gathered from the ground that you can also use the that and you can tell if something's dry or not by if it makes that cracking sound if it's green it's just going to kind of bend and it won't make the cracking sound so you want to have dry starter you know kindling so i got that in there just putting this in there and then another thing you want to make sure is that your flue is open because um, if your flue is closed, all the smoke then is going to start to come back. Another thing, the type of wood you use is um, semi-important. Um, I've heard that pine causes more uh, buildup in your fireplace. And then it's good if you haven't had your fireplace um, inspected or cleaned. It's a good idea to do that. We had ours um, clean, and so that's all good to go. Then I come in with these other bigger pieces you know, right here on the side. So I got my big piece on the back there, and then I got these smaller side pieces here. I'm building that, building them out. Let's start with these smaller pieces down below. I still got plenty of good airflow there. I can put these other ones right there. Uh, another thing, this is a, it's called a, a kettle and it's got water in there. And then so when it heats up, this um, affects it and then it helps keep moisture in the air. So this is what that kettle is and it's full of water. Then some people, they use um, charcoal lighter fluid. This is the stuff that you um, use for briquettes. Um, you don't have to. Some people might consider it unsafe. So yeah, be, be careful. Put a little bit of that. And then, you know, you can use a, a match. This here is a fire torch. Some people put that in. And let's do that. And there we go. Started uh, fire. I uh, hope that gives you some ideas on one way to, to start a fire and be safe.